a clear arrangement, Megan's puppet Doria is ready to plunge into the WMEPR games. Doria's moment with the Kardashians just proves to us how hard Megan's PR works. Okay, folks, so you know that Megan hasn't spoken with her father for years now. And now apparently she sees Kris Jenner and Kim Kardashian as her real family. I've seen the photos, and yes, my friends, Meghan Markle did pimp out her mama, Doria, to meet up with Jenner and Kardashian at an L.A. charity event. I swear, this whole story just keeps getting more and more bizarre. But anyway, there was photographic proof. Doria was there. She was hanging out with Kris Jenner and Kim Kardashian. So, okay, I think I figured out, though, what's happening. I guess that since real celebrities don't want to be connected to Meghan Markle because, well, they don't want to damage their particular brands and image, Meghan has decided to put her mama to work. So she's going to be this go-between person and see if she can figure out something, something to connect Meghan with two high-profile celebrities that she has earmarked as her kind of people, the kind of people she really wants to be like. Megan is desperate to be a real A-lister. So who can she find to help her out with this little goal? Who's going to be the end to the family she always wanted, an A-list family? If you look at that photo, I mean, you're going to probably laugh like I have. But at the same time, it does have Megan's seal of approval all over it. You know Dory would not be there if it weren't for Megan's nod and her get-go. Of course, we still don't know what's going to happen with all this schmoozing that they've been doing. I hope they're not cooking up some scheme behind the scenes, though. Megan is getting around obstacles by sending her mama out as her representative. Now, what do you think of that? If you ask me, it's incredibly desperate. I think that she's hoping for some good news soon, some hope for somebody in Hollywood to give her a break and give her some work, probably. And there is a source claiming that this is simply PR manipulation by WME. So the Kardashians actually are a product of, and they are still connected to WME, and that's also Megan's talent agency. They are known all around the world, joke or not. So why would this ex-felon, this drug dealer, this yoga teacher hang out in the same circle as the Kardashians? They have been celebrities for years, for better or worse. Well, we know Kim Kardashian first got famous because of that sex tape and also because of her oversized derriere that is bought and paid for. But to her credit, she has also proven herself to be a pretty savvy businesswoman. I think she is a hard worker, and I think on some level she's pretty intelligent. She has built an absolute fortune, that's for sure. There are so many successful products that she has out there on the market. But if you look at the Harkles, well, you can see there's a very big difference. See, Megan, her mama, and Harry are incredibly lazy. They're grifters, and they just like to use people. So I don't know what this relationship could possibly be about. Why would the Kardashians want to befriend the Markles of all people? Or to look at it a different way, why would they allow themselves to be befriended by them like they don't have anybody else to choose from? Especially at a time when everybody else is doing whatever they can to distance themselves from the Harkles. They have shown themselves to be the kiss of death. So I just can't help but be curious what is in it for them. See, the Kardashians know what they're doing. They are smart businesswomen. So I thought about it, and I thought about it, and I came up with absolutely nothing. I don't think there is anything that the Kardashian-Jenner family could get from being connected to Meghan and Harry. I think they just did it because WME basically told them they had to. It looks so posed and set up. In spite of having their arms around each other, this is not a friendship hug. There is a lot of space between them, and Kris Jenner looks like she's trying to get away from Doria. They don't even look like they know each other. They probably just met that day. The whole thing is just bizarre. And it wasn't too long ago that Kim Kardashian actually made it known that she has no interest in being friends with Meghan. She considers herself to be above them. And in many ways, yes, she is above them. For all the reality star persona and ridiculous dramatic headlines, she is an incredibly wealthy woman, and that's because of her own business skills. Forbes last year rated her as being worth nearly $2 billion, mostly from her highly successful business ventures. Now, the reality show was the thing that made them all rich in the first place, but most of her personal money actually comes from her own businesses. She promotes the products, but she personally takes a more quiet, professional businesswoman stand behind the scenes. Now, of course, because of the way Kim puts herself out there, when we think of her, we think of her as a reality TV star with a really big bottom. But in reality, I think that she and her mother are really smart businesswomen. 
it looks like she has had those butt implants removed in her photos lately, which is a wonderful thing because they look terrible. Look like she was walking around with a full pampers. Now she's looking much more normal. She still has a bubble butt, but it looks a lot more normal and natural now. WME is just the latest agency and probably the last two to try to make something out of Megan. Now, supposedly they are the best at what they do. They know how to handle Hollywood personalities using everything from shock value to absurd behavior to developing real and true talent. And as we've talked about before, of course, they only agreed to sign Megan on. They didn't have any interest in Harry. So apparently they like to work with unknowns or rejects and then they make them into stars. Well, Harry, they had no hope for him. They knew it was better to just let him be with his mushrooms and his drugs. And Megan's new business partner is Doria. I have heard that WME really loves a challenge, and they took Megan on a bet about whether or not they could make her a star. Of course, I have no idea if this rumor is true, but I kind of believe it because it would explain why they accepted her. Because she's not talented, she's not likable, there's nothing good about working with her. And for Hollywood, she's really quite old. She's long in the tooth now, past her expiration date. But there are also rumors that they're trying to transform her into a producer, even though she has never produced anything, definitely nothing good, and that's where the money would be. So they did represent Kris Jenner to develop the entire Kardashian brand. But see, Kris has always been intelligent. She's savvy. She has always understood how to play the game. Another thing is they didn't come to the show with a bunch of baggage and they weren't publicly attacking their own families in spite of the fact that they were reality TV show stars. Now, the first order of business would be to send a bunch of headlines showing Megan to be a totally different person than what we have been seeing for the past five years or so. Because they believe if they just keep on beating this dead horse, eventually they're going to make us all brain dead enough to believe the false image they're trying to sell us. So maybe it really was a bet. I mean, Ari Emanuel has a lot of money, and I'm sure there's a lot of money riding on this bed, so he needs to keep on working 24-7. What we do know, though, is that when it comes to getting what she wants, Megan is relentless. I mean, she's going to get where she wants to go. It doesn't matter who she steps on on the way. And what is disgusting is how she takes us all for being such idiots. She believes we're just going to accept whatever she says, buy her BS, and wallow in her nonsense because she is such an amazing person. Because just in case you didn't know, she is Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. Let her stop at nothing to get her way. It does turn out to be entertaining. I gotta hand it to her. Nobody but her could come up with the kind of absurd nonsense that she comes out with. I mean, it is funny. She also gets more ridiculous by the day. And normally, folks, I would feel sorry for somebody in this kind of situation. I do actually have a lot of empathy and compassion. But in the case of Megan, uh, no, not so much. Because it's her fault. She is the one who put herself in this place of ridicule and contempt. So, of course, we can't help ourselves. Of course, we're going to make fun of her and laugh at her. That's how antisocial she is. She pulls this stuff and she expects to get away with it. So she really encourages our contempt and ridicule in response. See, Megan is the one who makes herself such an unlikable person, and all we can see is the fakery and the phoniness, and she does that to make herself likable, but it's just so transparent. Honestly, Meghan Markle would sell her own mama if it would give her standing with the A-listers. Doria should really be careful. Megan's gonna dump her as quickly as she did with her father, her sister, and her brother, if that schmoozing with the Kardashians works in her favor. See, both of them are narcissists. Both of them are just using each other. That is how this whole game works. I'm sure that she and Doria have their problems, they have their disagreements and fights, but they're always going to go back to using each other. Now, her father and other people called her out because they knew what she was really like. Boy, did she suck her father dry, and now he's got nothing left that she wants or needs. He could tell the truth about her, but she doesn't want that. So she's going to do what narcissists always do. She's going to make him suffer for something that he does not really understand. If he really understood how sick Megan is, if he could write an honest book exposing her, he could end her. And he could make a lot of money for himself in the process. But I don't think he's going to do it, because he's still hoping there is some chance to repair the relationship with his little girl. Well, it's never going to happen. I think he's going to go to his grave still wondering what it was he did wrong. And Doria, well, she'll get to stay in the limelight because she'll continue to be Megan's puppet. And you, what do you think about this PR game? Please continue to discuss them with us below in the comments. 
Don't be afraid to like and share my video with anybody else who would also enjoy it. And don't be afraid to click the subscribe button to get more updates in the future. Thank you so much for tuning in, have a lovely weekend, and we'll be back to see you all tomorrow.